Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to create a link to a song, video, or app at the iTunes Store. So say you find something like the iTunes Store and you want to recommend it to somebody. You want to put a link in an email or on your blog. Well, you can create a link that when the user clicks on it, it will launch iTunes and take them right to that item at the iTunes Store. Let's take a look at how. So Apple has a tool for this. It's called the iTunes Link Maker. You can find it at apple.com slash iTunes slash Link Maker. That redirects you to a more complex URL here and you get a form that you can fill out. You can choose the country of the store that you want and then you can type in a search term. So for instance, let's search for some music. You can specify the media type or just leave it blank. When you hit search, you get a list of all the items it found. Now in this case we have uh, song names and album and an artist. So we can select any one of these as a link. We can link to the individual song by clicking on this little arrow here to the right of the song. We can select the album by clicking on this arrow or the group by clicking on this one. When we click on it, it takes us to this page here where we can copy and paste a full link as if you were going to put it into your blog. It includes an image too as well. And you can go ahead and paste that into your blog or you can just copy the actual link here if you're going to say send it to somebody in an email. Now we can test this out by clicking on this test button here. If we want to do an even better test we can copy the link, paste it up above and what will happen now is it will launch iTunes, take you to the store and jump right to that page. In this case it's the artist's page here listing all of the albums. Now we can get more specific. Suppose we want to link just to an application. We type the name of an application, select applications, do a search. Now we can scroll here and see we can link to either the application directly or the developer. Click on that. We get a link here. We can test it out. Now you may be wondering what uh, this image is here. It's actually not an image. You would think it would be an image of the icon, say of the application or of an album cover. It's actually just a little iTunes button. You may so now here's the weird thing. There's another way to do this and it's a simpler way as well. You can just go ahead and type iTunes.com slash and then the name of an artist or developer. So for instance, like that and it will automatically go ahead and figure out what you're trying to do and go to that page. You can also use this technique to get to sections. So for instance, iTunes.com slash music will go to iTunes and will take you right to the music page. But this won't work for everything. So for instance, if I try to do podcasts, it doesn't take me there but to a page actually on the web. Now there's a third way to go ahead and get iTunes links. When you're in iTunes, you can go to a page like this and if you control click or right click on an item, usually you get something like copy link. You also get in these little buy buttons a little copy link usually. And you can go for the artist album, go for specific songs for instance. There's a little buy link right here that has a copy portion to it. Now this method allows you to get these section links. Uh, you can go ahead for instance and here on the front page you can click on any item you can see and get copy link. But you can also go to say a section. Now sometimes it's hard to find something in that section that is actually a link. Like so for instance if I scroll down here I can see um, in the iTunes store in podcast and that is an actual active link. If I control click or I click on it I get copy link. Now if I go ahead into Safari I paste this link in here I can see it has a little view genre question mark ID equals 26 which must tell it that it should go to podcasts. If I use that URL you can see that it will actually take me to the podcast page. So using that trick you could probably get a link to just about any section or anything that you can find in the iTunes store. So there's a look at three different ways to get links to content in the iTunes store. Obviously the last one is probably the most definitive although the iTunes.com method is pretty easy and quick to do if you're writing quick blog post or sending an email. I would just test those links out first before you actually send them to somebody as not everyone works. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.